Did you know that right now we're in the middle of the biggest recall in U.S. auto history? About 65 million airbags have been deemed potentially unsafe. This is bigger than the next five largest recalls combined. It affects just about one in every five cars in the United States. So if you own a car that was made in the last 15 years, there's a pretty good chance your car has a bad airbag. At the center of the recall is a Japanese company, Takata. They supply airbags to major manufacturers like Honda and Toyota and Ford and all of these guys. So the problem is some of these widely distributed Takata airbags are malfunctioning. But it's not just that the bags aren't inflating. When cars with these airbags get into an accident, the bag explodes. They use a chemical called ammonium nitrate as a propellant, but over time, it's begun to destabilize. The casing that's holding the ammonium nitrate breaks apart, and it does so so violently that it ends up sending metal shards flying into drivers and passengers. 10 people in the United States have been killed by Takata airbags, and almost all of them have died in the southern half of the country. It turns out that long exposure to heat and humidity are what's causing the ammonium nitrate to destabilize. So what now? Takata is obviously in trouble. The Department of Justice is conducting a criminal investigation. There's also trouble for the owners of the cars with the bad bags, because while you can go to this website and see if your car is on the list and then bring it into a dealership, your problems are really probably just starting. Since airbags on each make and model of car are unique, replacing 65 million of them requires a lot of parts that are in very high demand right now, and it may take until 2019 to fix every affected car. This is leaving people with cars that are dangerous to drive, but impossible to fix, and all because of the device and their steering wheels that was put there to keep them safe.